Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997 back with another figure review, this time my DC Universe Classics Wave 9 Figure 1 Wildcat. Now, this figure is actually a variant. The standard Wildcat is black, and as you can tell in this package, he's more of a bluish purple than black. But, as you can clearly see, this giant chunk in the package is the upper torso and head of the build -a figure oh my, excuse me, collect and connect figure, Chemo. So, you can see Wildcat in the package, he looks awesome. On to the back. Of course, the figures in the way of Wildcat, Deadshot, Guardian, Green Arrow, Black Canary, Mantis, and Black Adam. His bio said, Ted Grant was a heavyweight boxing champion in the 1930s. He became a fugitive when mobsters framed him for murder in the ring. Ted donned a black costume and adopting the name Wildcat, used his combat skills to beat a confession out of the men who framed him. Wildcat decided to remain in costume and focused his attention on mob-related crime. In his civilian identity, Ted Grant operated a gym and trained Batman, Black Canary, and Catwoman in hand-to-hand -hand combat arts. First appearance, Sensation Comics number 1. Real name Ted Grant, occupation professional boxer, gym owner, adventurer, base of operations New York, special abilities, superior combat skills, particularly in the area of boxing, slowed aging, and heightened stamina and agility. So... This guy looks like a great character. Glad to have him. Let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And here he is out of packaging. Now, one thing I noticed really quick, and um, this may not be the figure's problem. It may just be me, because I don't know all that much about the Wildcat character, just what I've read in the current Justice Society. While it looks like his suit is made to just maintain the shape of his foot, on the bottom, it looks like he still has the sole of a shoe or... Maybe this is supposed to be a sandal or something, I don't know, but that kind of struck me as strange. Okay, so, Wildcat comes with no accessories. He shouldn't. Um, he, of course, has his fist clench because he's, of course, a boxer. He has very, um, he has the standard range of movement for the DC Universe. Um, nothing's really hindered at all. It all seems fairly sturdy. Um, the shoulder's a little stiff. Only the um, right shoulder, though, for some reason. This one moves fine. But a really awesome figure all around. Now, I've got to admit, I think the black one would have looked a little bit better. But roll with the punches. This guy still looks great. Okay, picking up the camera real quick. It looks almost like his um, mask would be removable. But it's not. Um, some really nice detailing on the face, though. Especially on the bandaged fist as well. Okay, so panning back out. Okay, so his Collect and Connect figure piece, Kemo, or the upper torso of Kemo. As you can see, it's a very clear translucent green. Um, this is actually really interesting. I'm really looking forward to having this guy finished. Putting him back over here. So, overall, Wildcat is a really solid figure. Um, I know that I've actually wanted to pick this guy up after I've been reading the current Justice Society. I've really learned to like this guy. Um, overall, he's a little bit better than a standard figure, um, but there's not all that much that makes him stand out. Um, I sw if you had a choice, I would go with a black paint job, but that's just a matter of opinion. It doesn't benefit the figure in any way. So overall, this is JTrain 997 Wildcat is a great figure, but he doesn't bring m many new things to the table. I give him a solid 8 out of 10. I'd say he's definitely worth the price of picking him up, but if you don't know much about the character, you might want to start somewhere else in the line. And this is JTrain997 saying, I'll see you soon, YouTube.